Now, here's what's in this proposed Senate border plan. Mandatory detention of all single adults. Mandatory shutdown of the border once the average daily migrant encounters hits 5,000. And the shutdown would not lift until daily encounters reduced to less than 3,750 encounters per day. And in short, here's the plan of how many migrants would be allowed into the U.S. under the Senate deal. 150,000 per month and 1.8 million per year. That's about the population of Phoenix. At a certain point, uh, we are going to have to publicly call the question of our Republican colleagues in a variety of ways mm. uh, when it comes to doing what is right for America's national security interests and uh, for fixing our broken immigration system. Or we're just going to make it clear that Republicans have no interest in dealing with the border issue. They'd rather try to weaponize it for political purposes. This whole border deal, they want the perception that they're taking the border seriously without actually doing anything to take the border seriously. But as you said, they see the polls. They know that this looks bad for them right now. But I've always maintained Democrats, they're not stupid. They see the long game of this. Six million plus illegal immigrants already in this country. So they're OK, in my opinion, with taking a little heat on this now because they know that this is going to pay out for them for years and years to come because the next stage of this is going to be amnesty, vote voting rights, 6 million plus since Biden took office, probably closer to 10 if we're being honest. You don't have to win the hearts and minds of the American people if you've got millions of people that are indebted to you. And that is the long term plan. Do not be fooled. They are not stupid, maybe sinister, maybe very strategic, but not stupid.